Balenciaga is being cancelled. Seems like a luxury brand house made a huge mistake by trying to outstand by using pictures of kids with plush teddy bear bags dressed in bondages and BDSM gear. However, what if this scandal is actually a part of their marketing? Let's dive deeper into how Balenciaga does marketing and why their recent marketing campaigns are actually a success but not a failure after all. So the whole scandal turns around two recent marketing campaigns that Balenciaga did. The first one included children surrounded by sex toys and BDSM stuff, and the second one was a campaign promoting the collaboration between Balenciaga and Adidas. However, it included the pictures with documents uh, about CP located on the background of the pictures that were promoted. Even without considering details, to me, everything seems quite clear. It's marketing. I would like to know that there is no way I support CP or kids um, being mixed with some sexual connotation in advertisement, marketing campaigns or wherever else. However, in this video I want to try to explain what the brand wanted to achieve by such a move from the point of view of marketing. As I already mentioned in my previous video, by the way, if you haven't watched it yet, I strongly recommend you to do so, to know how Balenciaga used sensory marketing to boost their sales. So, as I already mentioned in my previous video, Balenciaga's brand positioning is revolution, independence, being out of the box, which automatically implies that they have to be controversial and they have to evoke controversial emotions and feelings inside people. Accordingly, their marketing campaigns have to be even more controversial because the goal of any marketing campaign is first of all to grab attention. With their recent marketing campaigns, I believe they succeeded pretty much. Moreover, negativity evokes much stronger feelings and emotions than positivity. So even if they created a heart-touching marketing campaign, there is no way on the earth it would evoke the same reaction from the world. Furthermore, the brain works in such a way that soon people will forget about this scandal. There are much more problems in their personal lives and in the world, like war in Ukraine. Uh, by the way, the war is still going on, so I kindly ask you to donate to support Ukraine, uh, because even one your dollar can save somebody's life. The link is in the description. Thank you. Hence, the scandal itself will be forgotten in a couple of weeks maximum. And actually that's true, because I was writing this script on November 2022, when this scandal actually happened. But I'm filming this video a bit late, it's already January 2023. And yes, I can tell you for sure that people forgot about this scandal. However, the brand awareness that Balenciaga achieved through these marketing campaigns will remain and even grow. That's how it works. Celebrities even pay to be involved into the scandals, even if they are shown in a negative way, because they know that the details on the scandal will be erased from the memory soon. However, the name of the brand will stuck in people's mind. And eventually, all these people may turn into your clients, because the first step on the way to purchase is already done. They're already aware that your business exists, they already know your brand name, and they know which services you are offering. If you hear, Chris did this marketing campaign, Chris did this promotion, Chris is professional, Chris will stuck in your mind. So eventually, when you need, let's say, uh, social media marketing services, the first one who will pop up in your brain will be Chris. By the way, if you need social media marketing services, send me a DM. The link to my Instagram is in the description. So, I believe that for Balenciaga, such uh, results are not really bad, especially for unsuccessful marketing campaign. Don't you think so? In general, if we dive into previous marketing campaigns that Balenciaga was doing, we will find out that shock advertising or so-called shock advertising is something that Balenciaga was practicing for quite a time. The idea of such a type of advertising is to stand out from the advertising noise by deliberately breaking social norms, by using taboo topics, etc., in order to bring attention and create the buzz around the campaign and brand. On average, people see more than 5,000 advertising messages per day, and they barely remember 3-4 of them. So brands are quite ready to take extreme measures to be noticed by the customer. 
That's what Balenciaga did. However, two last marketing campaigns of Balenciaga went a bit too far. So a week later, after the gift collection holiday campaign was released, specifically on 23rd of November 2022, Balenciaga initiated a $25 million lawsuit against North Six and Nicholas Jardines. Honestly, no clue how to pronounce his name, but I hope I did it correctly. <laughs> So those who I named before were the third party who were responsible for creating a marketing campaign for Balenciaga. And by the way, they had already done it quite a number of times for Balenciaga brand. Just this time they were blamed for placing a document connected to CP without the knowledge of Balenciaga. Hypothetically, such a situation could happen, and that would be extremely unfair if the fault of the third party would fall on Balenciaga. However, in case of such a well-known and well-established brand as Balenciaga, it is simply impossible that something was done without their awareness, and that they haven't done millions of checkups on each single detail, each single part of their own marketing campaign. Finally, successful brands are more than aware how important neuromarketing is and so how each single detail is important for the brand. By the way, if you want to know how the brands use this information into their favor, check out my previous video. So I'm pretty sure that each single detail, starting from toys and ending with the documents which were located on the background, were actually a part of marketing campaign of Balenciaga. They just didn't expect that people would react so much on that. And you know how it works. The more we hear about some matter, the bigger this matter seems to our brain. So if this chain of reactions on social media didn't go so far, people would see this advertisement, probably pay attention to these details like toys or documents, and then just forget about this. But since users on social media started bringing up this topic more and more and more, it started looking like it was the biggest concern on the earth. That's how the brain works. To sum up, I would say that from the point of view of brand awareness, Balenciaga did quite a good job. However, their reaction on the situation should have been a bit different. They could apologize, I mean, they did apologize on Instagram, but they still proceeded with the lawsuit. That was a mistake. They could sincerely say that they just overstepped this time, that they wanted to grab attention, just the means that they chose were a bit not appropriate, and that they are sorry. That's it. People are not dumb. Well, I hope so. And when the brand screws up, everybody sees that. And brand's reaction can either ruin everything or vice versa, gain trust and respect from people that people would even forget that any scandal existed at the first place. I cannot help noting this, but while I was doing the research for this video, I found another video and the speaker there was seriously, seriously saying that Balenciaga is participating in conspiracy theory. <laughs> I laughed my ass off. I mean, it's just a thinking error. It's called Kestel theory. The last to say, behind these marketing campaigns, there are regular people like me or you, and each single of us has a right to commit an error. I mean, they were doing successful shock advertising for years, so I just believe that their borders were a bit blurred at some point. But I also hope that after this situation, their borders and barriers became clear again. Let me know in the comments what you think. If this was a successful marketing campaign with use of inappropriate means, or it was a conspiracy theory. <laughs> Thank you for watching. Don't forget to follow me. See you soon. Bye.